Hello and welcome. We are honored to have in the studio with us today Lata Mangeshka, an unseen participant in hundreds of films and invariably listed in the credits for the thousands of songs to which others have moved their lips and tensed their throats. Songs in Hindi, Punjabi, Marathi, Gujarati and Konkani, just to mention a few. Her records are sold in the thousands. Guinness Book of World Records acknowledges her as the most prolific singer for recording more than 25,000 songs to date. Ms. Mangeshka engages in as many as five recording sessions in a single day. We are now delighted to welcome to the program the Melody Queen of India, a lady who has been in the Guinness Book of World Record, a lady who is a personification of absolute simplicity, yet is of international stature, none other than the Nightingale of India, your favorite Lata Mangeshkar. Let's give her a big hand. What else can I say? It's one of the most thrilling experiences and we are honored to sit in the presence of Lataji. We would also like to welcome to the program an outstanding broadcaster from the Indian subcontinent, a gentleman who is very famous in <coughs> India, none other than Mr. Harish Bimani. Let's give him a warm welcome. <laughs> Lataji, we are honored that you could come to our studio amidst your busy schedule. Lataji, so please tell us, how unique is this concert to you? सबसे पहले तो मैं दर्शकों को नमस्कार करती हूं और यहां जो मेरा स्वागत हुआ है उसके लिए मैं उनकी बहुत आभारी हूं और मैं मेरी शुभ कामनाएं उनको है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर आई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू से थैंक्स फॉर द ओवरवेलमिंग वेलकम दैट यू हैव गिवन एंड प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय बेस्ट विशेस दर्शकों को तो मैं ये कह सकती हूँ कि यहाँ आके मुझे मराठी लोग भी मिले और कुछ पंजाबी भी मिले मराठी लोगों के लिए मैं ये कहूँगी कि मैं आप फार आभारी है अपन माला काल का ही लोग भेटला इतना अपन आहत तैबल माला फार आनंद मजा शुभेच्छा अपने अब मैं यहाँ टोरंटो के बीच आके इस तरह लगा जैसे मैं साढ़े पंजाब के बीच आ गई अच्छा पहला सवाल चंद्रशेखर साहब ने ये पूछा है कि जीए जो कॉन्सर्ट होने जा रहा है उसकी विशेषता क्या है उसकी खासियत क्या है आपके नज़दीक देखिए मैंने हिंदुस्तान के बाहर चैरिटी कॉन्सर्ट्स काफ़ी सारे किए हैं पहला मेरा कॉन्सर्ट था जो 74 में नेहरू मेमोरियल के लिए मैंने किया था और उसके बाद स्वाजी में भी मैंने किया था पर शायद ये एक कॉन्सर्ट ऐसा है जो आ, अभी तक जो मैंने किए थे वो वहाँ के हिंदुस्तानी संस्थाओं के लिए किए थे और ये जो है ये कनेडियन संस्था है और इसमें मुझे एक खुशी की बात और भी है कि पहले जो मैंने यहाँ जो मैं ले, लोग लेके आ रही हूँ उसमें हमारे हिंदुस्तान के बहुत ही मशहूर डायरेक्टर प्रोड्यूसर हीरो सिंगर म्यूज़िक डायरेक्टर किशोर कुमार मेरे साथ आए हैं प्यारे बंधु आज इस खुशी के मौके पर मैं बस बयान नहीं कर सकता कि मुझे कितनी खुशी हो रही है आप सब से मिलकर वो मैं कैसे जो कुछ भी लता ने कहा वो समझ लीजिए मेरी जबान है और मैं सिर्फ इतना ही कहूंगा कि प्यारे बंधुओं संगीत प्रेमियों मेरे नाना नानियों मेरे दादा दादियों मेरे काका काकियों मेरे मामा मामियों आप सबको किशोर कुमार का प्यार भरा नमस्कार और मेरी बहन उषा हमारे देश के बहुत ही बड़े एक्टर दिलीप कुमार we are talking to Mr Dilip Kumar who is considered one of the pioneers of the Indian film industry and probably one of the most 
intelligent people from the industry who generates enormous amount of radiance and warmth in addition to being a great superstar. Welcome to the program. Thank you. And I'm here because of my personal esteem for uh, that great and unique artist known as Lata Mangeshka. Of course, beautiful. And she thinks she the is. world of you, by the way. The, the, you know, she was, uh, she was absolute praise for She's you. She's a wonderful girl. She's a wonderful girl. And uh, I admire her doing things like this. She's always been by our side whenever we have done work for uh, any good cause, whether it be of the Cancer Society or uh, giving help to the victim of floods or famine uh, at different times. And uh, she's always been the bulwark of uh, all of our movements for collecting charities. We, and all that we do, did in uh, our uh, socio and civic endeavors as far as uh, our own country and its people are concerned. And Padmini Kolhapure, these are all of my friends. I have taken a rain orchestra in London. I was only singing the song. But here I am singing the song of the Canadian orchestra. All of these people are involved in this. Well, there are several things uh, why it's unique to me. First of all, though I have done several concerts ab abroad and many of them uh, for uh, the cause of charity, they have been either for Indian community or the Indian settlers or Indian organizations over there or basically for the ethnic people over there, whereas this one is really on a human-to-human -human basis. Mm -hmm. It is for everyone. Number two, in other concerts I was about the only one, only performer, whereas here with me I have this unique personality, uh, actor, writer, director, music director, singer Kishore Kumar, uh, my sister Usha Mangeshkar and uh, the greatest of uh, Indian actors Dilip Kumar and Padmini Kolhapure. Lataji, you know, you're uh, an outstanding example. I mean, you're an exceptional case. You know, there is no parallel for Lataji anywhere else in the world because uh, there are many singers in the, in the Hollywood industry. There are many singers in Europe. But nobody has ever enjoyed the covetedness of being the supreme most person in terms of the music industry. Having said that, how important is, in your perception, is music in one's life? Up, uh, Bharat mein nahi. लेकिन दुनिया में एक मेव होंगी बहुत सारे और सिंगर्स अमेरिका या और देशों में हैं लेकिन जो ख्याति आपको मिली है जो सफलता आपने प्राप्त की है वो आज तक किसी ने ना प्राप्त की है शायद ही कोई करेगा फिर भी आपकी नजर में संगीत का जीवन में क्या स्थान है संगीत का स्थान अगर आप मुझे पूछें तो सबसे ऊंचा है संगीत इंसान को बहुत सी मर्तबा बहुत बुरे विचारों से भी दूर कर सकता है संगीत की वजह से आदमी बहुत अच्छे विचार मन में ला सकता है जिंदगी में वो एक अलग जगह पे जा के बैठ सकता है और संगीत में एक ऐसी ताकत है कि इंसान की सारी तकलीफें वो एक पाँच मिनट के लिए ही सही पर भूल सकता है मेरे हिसाब से चूँकि मैं मैं संगीत मतलब मैं गाती हूँ तो मेरे लिए तो संगीत बहुत बड़ी चीज़ है और इसीलिए मेरा ख्याल है अगर किसी को संगीत पसंद भी है तो वो भी अपनी ज़िंदगी में बहुत कुछ तरक्की कर सकता है दैट्स ब्यूटिफुल but even generally speaking, since music can do no bad to anyone, since music cannot use bad, uh, a bad emotion, since music can give you solace even for five minutes, music, according to me, is very important in anyone's life. You know, Lataji, you know, it's interesting. You have been one of the um, rare phenomenon in the Indian film industry, I should say. Right, for generations you have been doing songs non-stop, you know, you've been f like five recordings a day and that adds to, you know, from what we understand, you're in the Guinness Book of World Record with 25,000 separate cuts. But the interesting part about this is that 
in the film industry in India, many top heroes have come and gone, heroines have come and gone, but Lata Mangeshkar is one phenomenon that has stayed forever with every heroine. In other words, it's a prestige for every heroine to do a playback song sung by Lata Mangeshkar. But in the last several years, you must have picked up some favorite heroines of yours. Who do you think has suited your voice in the last three decades, like 30 years of right from the good old days of best of heroines to present day. Tell, tell us about the heroines. Playback Dena Shuru Kiya, Us Vakt Se Nargis. Oh yeah, beautiful. Or Meena Kumari, Wahida Rehman, Madhubala. Or Kisi Aad Tak Mujhe Kamini Kaushal Bhi Achchi Lagti Thi. Jab Woh Gana Matlab Mera Gaati Thi, To Mujhe Lagta Tha Ki Isko, Is Gane Ko Nyaay Diya Hai Unhoni. पर मुझे सबसे ज्यादा मीना कुमारी अच्छी लगती थी वो जब मेरा गाना गाती थी तो मुझे ऐसे लगता था कि मैं नहीं गा रही वो ही गा रही है ओह दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल दो आई कैन थिंक ऑफ नरगिस मीना कुमारी वहीदा रहमान टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंट कामिनी कौशल एंड मधुबाला बट आई थिंक आउट ऑफ दीस यू सेड मीना कुमारी व्हेन मीना कुमारी सैंग ऑन द स्क्रीन इवन आई थॉट that it was she singing and not me. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Music has meant so much to you in life. What would your ha life have been without music? Aapka jeevan pura sangeet mein raha hai. Sangeet ke baghair aapka jeevan kya hota? Sangeet ke baghair main apna jeevan soch hi nahi sakti hu. Mujhe lagta hai ki ekdam khali khali ho jata. पर अगर संगीत नहीं होता मेरे पास तो मैं कम से कम भगवान से ये मांगती कि मुझे अच्छा संगीत सुनने की शक्ति दो और समझने की ताकत आई कैन नॉट इमेजिन माय लाइफ विदाउट म्यूजिक बट कॉन्फिड इफ इट हैड बीन सच अ केस देन आई वुड हैव प्रेड टू गॉड दैट प्लीज गिव मी Give me, give me strength, or give me understanding of music, so that even if I can't sing, I can still understand and enjoy music. There are many aspiring musicians here in North America. People from the Indian subcontinent are very music and dance and art oriented. What would the words of advice be from Lataji for these aspiring musicians who really want to make a mark in their life? Honhar kalakaron ki liye aap ka kya sandesh hoga? मैं यही कहती हूँ कि कोई भी गायक हो या डांसर हो उनको हमेशा मेहनत करनी चाहिए सीखना चाहिए रियाज करना चाहिए और जहाँ भी आप हैं वहाँ के जो जो भी रीत रिवाज है उसको अपना के और उसी में रहना चाहिए इसमें ये नहीं मेरा मतलब कि अपनापन भूल जाए हम भारतवर्ष के हैं तो भारत को नहीं भूलें भूलना चाहिए परंतु जहाँ भी अगर आके आप बसे हैं वहाँ के हो के रहें और जो अपनी कला है उस पर मेहनत करें शी सेज हु यू आर वट एवर आर्ट यू आर डिवोटेड टू वेदर इट्स म्यूजिक पेंटिंग एक्टिंग वट एवर इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू वर्क इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू कंटिन्यू वर्किंग एंड लर्निंग अनादर थिंग इज दैट Don't forget that you are not in India. You are Indians, but not in India. So, without losing your basic Indianness, your Indian culture, you should mingle with the mainstream of the country of your residence. Home songs have pervaded all aspects of Indian life, such as weddings, parties, and even funerals. Now it's back to Chandrasekhar and Lata Mangeshkar, the number one playback singer who is idolized throughout the world. John, I'd like to ask you, you know, Lata Mangeshkar came to Toronto today and she paid a visit to some of the United Way agencies and from what I understand, the, the agencies were so thrilled and children were there with flowers and there was a grand warm reception given to Lata Ji wherever she went. Lata Ji brought three agencies to, to life today, Shan. She was just wonderful. It almost rained, but it didn't. First of all, in a childcare area with about 15 children, she sang a lullaby, and the name of the lullaby was Lataji. And the children loved it. They just sat here like this, 
<laughs> well, she sang. It was marvelous. And the second one at the Riverdale Immigrant Women's Center, she encouraged the women to continue to, to work jointly to make their lives in Canada stronger and better. And finally, she visited the Red Cross and encouraged all of the donors there to continue giving blood. You know, that same lullaby, there's thousands of children watching this program. Maybe Lataji can just give one verse of that lullaby, what she sang for the, for the United Way children. There are many children out there, Lataji, from the Indian subcontinent. There are also children who are handicapped, who are, you know, physically disabled, and they would love to have just one verse of that lullaby from Lataji. Zarur. धीरे से आ जा रही अखियन में नींद आ जा रही आ जा धीरे से आ जा चुपके से नैनन की बगियन में नींद आ जा रही आ जा धीरे से आ जा धीरे से my friends, I want you to meet briefly a little six-year-old girl called Sarah Whiting who could perhaps teach all of us to live because she never stops smiling in spite of the fact that she suffers from cancer because of which she had to have her leg amputated and she's bald. She's one of the recipients one of the million recipients of aid from the United Way, and she would like to thank Lata Mangeshkar for her contribution. Sarah Bhatt. Gentlemen, it's not true that only Indians love Canada. Even Canadians love India, Indian culture, even Indian music, which is why your great singer Anne Murray wanted Lata Mangeshka to sing her song, You Needed Me. So, listen to You Needed Me by and Mangesh. Lataji, you had tremendous programs uh, all over the world and especially now in the North American concert, but you also went to Trinidad and Guyana. There is a lot of people here from Trinidad and Guyana who are settled in the Toronto area, over 100,000 of them. They are very culturally, they are very Indian uh, and their roots are very Indian. Tell us about your visit to Trinidad and Guyana. I was in जो मेरा स्वागत हुआ है वो मैं कभी भूल नहीं सकती हूँ कम से कम तीस एक हजार आदमी थे जो सड़क पे खड़े थे और मैं गाड़ी में बैठ के जा रही थी और मेरे ऊपर फूल फेंक रहे थे और कह रहे थे कि बहुत अच्छी है मैं कभी भूल नहीं सकती हूँ कि इस तरह भी प्यार इंसान को मिल सकता है बड़ी भगवान की कृपा है और यहाँ वो लोग अभी हैं मुझे यकीन है कि वो जरूर मेरे प्रोग्राम में आएंगे क्योंकि उन्होंने वहां पे भी मेरे हर प्रोग्राम में बहुत सारे लोग आके सुन के गए हैं मेरी बहुत-बहुत शुभकामनाएं हैं उनको आई विजिटेड गयाना इन 1980 एंड 
For many reasons, it was an unforgettable visit. I remember some 30,000 people lining the streets of Guyana as we were going into the city. And they were, they were chanting good wishes to me. The whole atmosphere was so unforgettable. I'm sure many of them are here, and they will give me the same love, and my best wishes are with her are with them. Excellent. Lataji, tell us, one day in the life of Lata Mangeshkar, what is it? Just an average day. I think that if I don't have any work, I feel good to make food. I do a lot of pooja every day. And I do a lot of pooja every day. I pray for a lot of pooja every day. I pray for a lot of pooja every day. I pray for a lot of pooja every day. But if I don't sing, I have one more thing, that I do a day every day. I do it until now, because I think that I can do a good job without a good job, or I can do a good job without a good job. So that's also it. I have to live in my house, I have to live with my brothers and sisters, I have to play with my brothers and sisters, and I have to play with my brothers and sisters. And I have to play with my brothers and sisters. And if I went outside, I have to play with my brothers and sisters. Well, my typical day, if I don't have a, uh, my typical day always begins with worshipping puja. I anyway worship twice a day, once before going to bed and once soon after my daily bath in the morning. If I don't have a recording, I particularly enjoy cooking at home. And I make it a point to do riyaz on that, that day. Riyaz means practicing music because I believe that at any stage of an artist's career he can't do without riyaz, he can't do without practicing. I also thoroughly enjoy playing with kids of my brother and my sister. And if I'm outdoors, I love photography, but I particularly love cooking. Oh, excellent. Lata Mangeshka is known as the queen of playback singers. Her voice is dubbed onto a motion picture soundtrack to make non-singing stars appear to be singing in top form. Here's an example. <laughs> is blessed with a voice that possesses richness, texture, spirit, and warmth. We now join Chandrasekhar and this remarkable lady. Thank you. You're watching a special on the Nightingale of India, the Melody Queen Lata Mangeshkar. Pretty sure there is absolutely no dispute with respect to the fact that Lata Mangeshkar is one person who is absolutely versatile. She can sing classical, light classical, bhajan, ghazal, folk, and film music as well. We have chosen a very interesting segment that Lataji is so versatile that she can even change her voice to suit a child. She can sing for an adult, she can sing for a child as well. Lataji, tell us, uh, how did you manage to convert your voice and adjust your voice to suit a child? I am telling that we also acting from <laughs> yes, it is necessary to change voice when you lending your voice to a child artist. Um, well, one has to act through one's voice too. It means so much to the people coming from Lataji, a message for peace through music. Sangeet mein itni shakti hai ki wo शांति का संदेश दे सकता है और मैं जहाँ भी जाती हूँ यही सोच के जाती हूँ कि अगर मेरे गाने के जरिए मैं अगर कुछ इस तरह का प्यार का और शांति का संदेश दे सकूँ तो मेरा कार्य बहुत पूरा हो सकता है। Music has the strength, the language of music has the strength to give the profound message of peace. And I always thought that if my music could do that, whatever I'm doing, my, my life would be worth it. My music would have been worth it. 